Hey everyone, Blackout Kofi here, and in version 6.0, we've now added a way for you to use individual cooldowns for both chat commands and twitch points. This will allow you to fine tune your commands and how often you want them to be triggered. So to begin, we'll head to commands, chat, and then you'll see cooldown settings. These are your global cooldown settings. Every command by default will fall back to your global cooldown settings. So if you have this off, then that means no commands will use cooldowns by default. If you have it on, obviously by default, it will use them. You could also have your bypass cooldown list, your cooldown duration, and your cooldown chat by message anytime someone tries to trigger something when it's in the cooldown. One thing we also added in 6.0 is that we separated the global cooldown settings. So you'll have your cooldown settings for both chat and Twitch points now. So if you go to cooldown settings, you can have cooldowns off for Twitch points, but you can have cooldowns on for chat commands. Now, of course, we're talking about individual cooldowns. So if we add a new command, you'll see a new cooldowns tab. We'll press cooldowns. And as I mentioned, by default, it uses the global cooldown. So you can either set no cooldown. You can set the use global cooldown fallback. You can set a command cooldown, which just means no one will be able to trigger it after it gets triggered until the duration is over. Whereas a user cooldown for command means that only that user won't be able to trigger it again until their duration is over. So to test this out, let's just start with a command cooldown and we're going to put it for 30 seconds and we won't let anyone bypass it. We'll have a specific message saying that this command is in a cooldown. We'll change this to cool, cool test. So we'll press apply, refresh, and then we'll go to our Twitch channel. Over on our Twitch channel, we'll just put exclamation point cool test. And now you'll see that it says change light to cool test, please wait. So now if I try it again, I'm still in my 30 second cooldown. It will say this command is in a cooldown. Now we can also see it in our dashboard under the cooldown section. You'll see that the key is cool test and it's in a cooldown for 30 seconds. And once it's over, you'll see this disappear and I'll be able to use the command again. Okay, it disappeared. We'll try it again. And there we go. Now, as I mentioned, you can also have a specific cooldown for just the user who triggered the command and another user will be able to trigger it. They'll have their individual cooldowns for that user and for this specific command. You'll also have the option to allow some users to bypass that cooldown as well. Now, when using a user cooldown command, one idea may be this command is in the cooldown for username. This is a variable. So if we go to our variables, you'll see username at the top right here. So we'll just tell that user that only that specific user is in the cooldown, not everyone. So I'll press apply and we'll try this out again. But cool test and then cool test again. And you'll see this command is in the cooldown for Lumia Cove. So no one else. You'll also see the key starts with the username. So it says Lumia Cove underscore cool test so that, you know, you know, the user who's in the cooldown as well as the command. If I'm in another cooldown for another command, it will show it, you know, below that one and it'll just keep stacking up. You know, of course, you'll do the same for Twitch points. I can just have a cool test Twitch point or anything else I want. Let's call it cool point. Let's use the emerald color. We'll go to the cooldowns tab and we'll use a user cooldown for that command. I'll set it for about 30 seconds and press apply. So now if I go to the Twitch point and I put cool point in, I'll be able to trigger it the first time. But if we wait until this is over and try to trigger it again, you'll see that I cannot trigger it again. So it tried to redeem it, but I actually, you know, I got the message Lumia stream is currently in a cooldown period. And also if you created this Twitch point with Lumia stream, it will also refund the user their points. It will not take it. And of course that's in the global settings to allow you to auto fulfill requests. You can also auto play slash pause redemptions when Lumia stream turns on or off. So that's everything with the cooldowns in version 6.0. Everything is separated, but also allows a fallback for your global cooldown settings. And we hope you all have a luminous day.